I um, I worked with Toots once, uh, did the Reggae Got Soul album, and it was just such a fantastic experience. I mean, he it was like the way that Blackwell used to work with Marley. Was Marley would do these tracks in Jamaica with um, local producers, and then bring the multi tracks to London or to the Bahamas. And then he and Chris would sit there and edit and overdub and mix and create the final product. And so Chris wanted to do the same with Toots. And so he made a deal and Toots cut all these tracks in Kingston with a guy called Warwick Lynn and um, brought them to London. And Chris was going to do it with him. And, uh, and Marley... I don't know if this is true, but this is what I heard from people at Island, that Marley got jealous. Like he felt threatened because Chris was starting the same thing now with Toots. And so Marley just went, took some tracks and went to Nassau and called Chris and said, uh, Hey man, I got tracks. I'm in Nassau. Come on down. And Chris then called me and said, Look, I'm in a difficult situation. I've got to, I think I've got to go to Nassau, but Toots is already here. And I know you love Toots because I, you know, always told Blackwell how much I love Toots. Here's your chance. You work with Warwick Lynn and finish the record. And so I got to come in and do what, you know, and it was just, it was great. I mean, it was, it was a little surreal, but it actually led to my producing the film Scandal because there was a guy who used to come in to the studio, Basing Street Studios, just off Portobello Road, every evening at six o'clock. And he'd have these shopping bags full of weird Caribbean tubers and all kinds of food. And he'd cook up an Ital feast and then everybody would eat dinner around 10 or 11 o'clock. And he, it was all Rastas, there was a whole group of Rastas who came in, friends of Tootsie's. And uh, this guy was short haired and uh, had a floor length leather coat and used to talk about Ronnie Scott and, you know, uh, Annie Ross and Soho in the 50s, all these jazz, drop, drop a lot of jazz names. And, um, and one night we were, we were recording till dawn, we were finished at 5 a.m. And I was driving away from the studio and I saw this guy standing on the corner looking very forlorn and pissed off. And so I rolled down the window. I said, what's up? I just knew he was called Lucky. And uh, he said, oh, I got let down from my ride. I said, well, where are you going? He said, Shepherd's Bush. I said, I'll give you a ride. So we got in, we drove there. He asked me in for a cup of tea. I walked in and the room was just wallpapered with clippings from 1962. And he was Lucky Gordon, who was Christine Keeler's West Indian lover, who triggered the whole scandal that brought down Macmillan's government. And, uh, and that's what started the ball rolling for me to produce the film Scandal. So all because of the Toots record, anyway.